There's another group of mutant crime fighters edging in on your turf. They call themselves the X-Men, and since they hit children's television earlier this year, they've been taking America by storm. I said really far! The X-Men are really a metaphor for the way teenagers feel today. A special quality that sets them apart from everyone else. What is a mutant? You have superheroes and disenfranchised and isolated because of their specialness. Although X-Men have been a hit on TV for less than four months, they've been fighting crime for three decades. Back in 1963, comic book genius Stan Lee introduced the band of mutants with attitude on the pages of his legendary Marvel comics. It was around the same time he introduced his most famous superhero, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Does whatever a spider can. I really am my biggest fan. I love everything that I've ever done. He molded a new kind of superhero, a superhero whose suit of armor had a few chinks, while the alter egos of other animators heroes like Batman and Superman live stable routine lives. The day-to-day -day lives of Lee's characters, Spider-Man and the Hulk among them, were riddled with neuroses and problems. Hulk, Hulk. See, with the Hulk, instead of him just being a monster, I guess I was very influenced by Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I liked the idea of this doctor who turned into a monster, but, but he, he was miserable about it. I, I, I like characters who agonize, because I think we all do. What's the matter? Teacher's pet got cold feet. Anytime. Like Lee's most famous superheroes, the lives of the X-Men are far from problem-free. They are all outsiders in a world gone bad. And they are not always so buddy-buddy. The X-Men are not perfect, and they don't even always get along. Just like children, or for that matter, adults. Tag, you're it. In today's world, the complex superheroes of Stan Lee are more popular than ever. Marvel Comics sell over 7 million issues a month. In fact, X-Men is the largest selling comic book line in existence. Marvel hopes that success will translate to TV, and it looks like it is. X-Men is the top rated show for young people on Saturday morning, with an estimated 6.8 million tuning in. And although the show has been criticized for its violence, Stan Lee says that the X-Men are great role models. Some of the themes that we've always stressed in the X-Men have been trying to give the feeling of brotherly love. You know, we're all sharing this planet together. When you formed the X-Men, was it not to teach us to use our powers to benefit mankind so ordinary people would learn not to fear us?